All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another Genshin Impact run. And I'm actually recording this for the first time while I'm not streaming. It's only because I really haven't had a lot of time to be playing Genshin Impact while Ruby Volume 8 is back around. Uh, but I wanted to follow up and at least finish up this event before it ends. I think I have like a day and a half to finish it. Um, and the third event of the Mona and uh, like official falling star meteorite event is is underway so uh we're actually here so again uh when i did start the event i was on stream and we did the unknown stars and the stars of deceitful dreams which is when mona gets introduced uh the star of destiny this is the third act it's actually been going on for a couple of days now and uh, i'm just gonna try to find my way um through the event to finish it up to see how it actually ends i know that there's going to be a follow-up where i can get additional materials i do want to work on the say the, the crown of of sagehood because i know that that's uh imperative for uh for end game content uh, like for end game leveling up like your talents and stuff like that so i am going to follow up here see how the story event ends uh try to make the most of my resin before the reset in 20 minutes and uh essentially i think i can still get whatever items um you know whatever items i can from this event like i, I feel like i can still get the crown if i use like my full amount of resin and uh, like maybe like a day of resin recharge uh for some primo gems so i'm gonna do that it's also worth noting really quick that i am ar38 so i'm coming up on ar40 um which is really exciting because i haven't even done my leeway um progression yet through the story like i haven't even seen tartaglia child or um zong Li or zong yi which I, I believe that's the next character that's coming out along with the fire girl with the guitar so um you know as time goes on right now i, I do want to try to catch up with the main story because all these new characters are cut that are coming out i'm seeing them for the first time in their banners before they're actually in the story so uh so here's mona we're gonna see what she says now for the follow-up of the story official oz mm -hmm. Hi, Mona. Thanks to you, we've managed to get rid of loads yeah. and loads of meteorites. So I have also gone around um, Leeway and Mondstadt and, and got the, the different locations of the meteorites. So I've, I've already been like saving up those. I think I have like 300 on me right now. Um, and I think now we're going to start getting like meteorite chunks for like the like for the, the talent books and stuff like that. Ah, good timing. Mm -hmm. There's something I need you to do. Ooh. Remember how I God, was saying that the meteorites belong <laughs> to someone's constellation? Yes, whose constellation? Theoretically, it's not possible for stars that are goodness knows how many light years away to suddenly turn into meteors and fall out of the sky. Hmm. But however paradoxical it may be, this is the reality. Were they sent here by someone or did someone here like attract them to the planet if we want to get to the bottom of this the best way is to find out whose constellation it was yeah maybe this is like some godhood shit based on what you've told me it seems that all victims of the meteorites fell into a deep sleep and all of them dreamed of a snowy, snowy mountain. mountain and i think that snowy mountain is maybe dragon spine and that's going to open up for the next uh for the next um the next update region now we may yes, not know which mountain it. this was but we can safely assume oh. that it's not Dragon Spine. Oh, it's not. Otherwise, someone would have recognized it, right? Oh, it's not Dragon Spine. So, what's the ice region? That's, that's Snaznaya, right? Did everyone definitely have the same dream? And where exactly were they in the dream? Hmm. These are the questions that we need answers. I really to. wonder if we're going to be getting interplanetary events down the road. Like, are we ever going to leave Tevat? I need you to find out more details about the sleeper's dreams. That makes sense. The more information we have, the closer we can get to the truth. Sure Seems thing. we should head somewhere with lots <clears throat> of people around. Monstat, maybe? That way, we should be able to find more victims to question. I need to stay in an undisturbed environment. All right. So I will leave the investigating to you. Is there anywhere that we haven't been to yet? I don't know why, but this event, Paimon, this event, Paimon voice acting sounds very different from like the base game Paimon voice acting. So I wonder if, uh, like, as time, like, from whenever they originally did the base game voice acting to this, the person's voice is a little different. I don't know, just Paimon's voice sounds a little off to me. There is Chinksa Village in Liyue. Chinksa Village? Although it does not usually match your suggestion wow. of somewhere with lots of people around. I, uh, I haven't really explored that area yet. I did dabble a little bit into it during the last run. That said, I suspect that the Millilith will have turned that area into a site where victims mm. can receive medical attention. 
much as they Wong did at Wong Shu Inn. Holy shit, we're actually gonna be able to go. <laughs> I actually have to go to Qingxi Village for the plot now. That's really awesome. Cause I still have to explore a bit of uh, a bit of Liwei at this point. So you know what? I'm just gonna bite the bullet. We're just gonna do it. I'm gonna come here. Um, and then I'm gonna work my way around. Let's do it. I still have to explore the rest of Liyue. It's really bad. My my exploration hasn't really been all that great because I want to capture a lot of it on stream because I didn't really do that for Mondstadt. Like for Mondstadt, I really just kind of played the story on stream and I did all of the exploration on my own, which I guess is fine. I feel like if everyone is playing the game, the same game, they're probably already they probably already all have the same experiences. But look at this place, man. This is so beautiful. Oh, hold on. There's a core lapis right here. Let me grab that. That's going to come in handy down the road. I can already tell. Let me grab you. I like how they don't like go off flying. Oh my God. Look at this place. <laughs> this looks so nice. Wow. All right. So I'm going to fight off all these guys real quick. What I'm also going to do, even though I'm not streaming this live on Twitch right now, I think what I will do is I will upload this this recorded VOD because no, no one really does uploaded content on Twitch, but I'll at least upload this to YouTube just so the people who have who do watch the VODs and who do care about my Genshin progression um, get to be able to see this before it. Oh, oh gosh. Get to see this before it hits YouTube. My gosh, it's so hard to get up here on this little platform. Okay, thank you. My God, <laughs> that was really difficult for no reason. Oh my gosh, so there's all these flowers over here, all these uh, uh, ascension materials, like, trapped up over here in the flowers. Yes. I see it on the map, another Geoculus. Let's grab that real quick. That'll be beautiful. Hey, there we go. I haven't been to a tower, for, to, um, to a Geoculus statue in a while, so I actually am sitting on a lot of uh, stored stamina and stuff like that. Yeah, a bunch of new NPCs that I got to sit down and talk to at some given point just to see if they have any lore based around them or any items that I can get off of them. But right now, I'm just trying to stick to the to the story primarily. My gosh, is the, there's a couple more items around. Yep, there's another Geoculus right there, too. All right, let's talk to this guy. Uh, Jing Lun. What's Hello. going on? We're from the Adventurers Guild. Can you tell us if Chinks of God, this music is so beautiful. By the meteorite strike? Adventurers. Perfect. I was beginning to despair at the lack of helpers. Uh-oh. Yeah, so I think that's a that's a big yes. These meteorite strikes have been going on for days. It's affecting now. everyone everywhere. Don't even get me started on how much trouble it's caused. Oh, it's turning nighttime too. I got to switch that up. If one lands in a field, no one dares to go and harvest the crops. And if one lands at the entrance, access Forget is about a complete it. <laughs> nightmare. Do you have any ideas on how to safely dispose of them? Yeah. They're just making everything impossible. I take it Chingsei Village has been affected too? Yes, we better help this guy out. Yeah. Oh man, I wonder if we're going to see Chi Chi or someone that's actually from this region or area in the, in the actual core story. Okay, so I think this might actually be the, the meteorite chunks and not just the meteorite shards like last time. So we have like these giant circles and then we have these minor circles as well. So they said if you go in the field, the flower fields, or the entrance. Oh, okay, never mind. This looks, this looks pretty standard. Pretty standard stuff. All right. Oh, should probably be using a different element, but Razor's my strongest character, so you know, it is what it is. I hope this doesn't take up like my current resin. Like you know, because it's tied to the story. I wonder if it's just gonna give it to me. If not, that's fine, because I. I have like nine minutes before reset, so whatever resin I use right now, it can just like recharge over time. It's been almost a week since the last time I played this game. Oh, okay, so there's a, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff I gotta do over here. I'm gonna come back and do it on my own time, if possible. Yeah, so I have a lot of exploring to do with this area. There's already puzzles and stuff. I haven't even been around this area due to my like normal exploration. All right, so these are like the little shards that are on the floor. And then these yellow circles are the big ones. So I don't think we've gotten to the point where we see those giant meteor chunks just chilling around the spot. So I just got to keep my eyes peeled. There's another one right here in this area. Let me see if I can find it. Where are you? Oh, there it is right there in the water. Sweet. All right. And then there should be another setup area for me to find. Oh, whoa. What the heck? Unusual hilly churl. Well, that was strange. Dude! Holy shit, was that... 
That was like a loot hillet show. I've never seen that before. It was just lying around, lying over here sleeping. That was pretty badass. It gave me like cabbage for since <laughs> it's the cabbage guy. My cabbages. <laughs> okay, let's defeat all these guys and call it a day. Yeah, I'm gonna leave most of uh, I'm gonna leave. Oh, I drowned. That's um, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I do not want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, that's a little embarrassing. But yeah, I don't. I want to leave most of uh, Chingse Village intact because I I do want to focus most of my time and energy exploring uh, Liyue when I'm actually live on twitchtv slash murder of birds. By the way, so um, little you, that's her name. That's very interesting. That's a very interesting name. Little you. Little J. Anyways. Achievement Hunter fans will understand that reference. Alright, so... I think when I get to the top here, I'm gonna see if I can activate this one way... This one waypoint. Just so I have a place to teleport back to, because walking back here seems to be a little bit of a pain. Actually, if I carry on this way and I head up here... Yeah, so right at the very top, it's there. But yeah, right here. Oh, look at this area! This shit looks so cool, man! Wow, is this the shrine? What is this place, then? Is this... Community leader. Okay, so this is just the maybe like the the leaders res where like the leader of this place lives, the leader of Chingse Village. Yeah, I just really want to see Chi Chi. <laughs> I think that'd be super cool if we see her. All right, Mila, let's hit me up. Dusted. Nice. Wonderful. Oh, what a huge help. This guy kind of looks like Zhang Zhang Yi. Have any of the victims Zong woken Li? since think that's his the name? start of the incident? Oh, I wouldn't know. You're better off just taking a look for yourself. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, my guy. Alright, examine the nearby victims. Oh, wow, were there nearby victims just sleeping? I just, like, walked right by- I didn't even see these guys. Alright, so... Here it is. That's reset right there. It's a new day. Alright, so this is just like in Mondstadt. Everyone's sleeping. But some of them might come around. Mortal. Are thou <laughs> Mortal, also please. descended into the realm of suffering? Oh gosh, I completely forgot Fish is a little overdramatic. Same situation that we've seen in other places too. Yeah, and it's very similar to like, like, like her storyline is like, she isn't German, but she's pretending to be like this persona of a German fairy tale character. Like the princess in der... der the Princess in Der Verterfelung, I think that's I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, when her real name is like Amy, and she just kind of is a normal person. She's got parents who are adventurers and all that. Hey there, has this guy woken up at any point? All right. No, he has said a few things in his sleep though. So, uh, like like snow and mountain and all that stuff. What kind of things? I wonder if this is Abyss Mage related. So cold, can't go on, things like that. Hmm. Somewhere cold in the mountains. Up in the mountains. Where could it be? I really think it's Dragon Spine. But they say it can't be. Unless it's just an area that's in Shneznaya, right? Maybe this is like the Fatui or the Cryo God doing it. Who knows? Alright, let's see. Yang! Oh my god! Dude! Oh, man, my chat would have loved this, dude. Like, just having, like, a Yang, like, that's an immediate Ruby reference. Well, Yang Xiaolong, long time no see. Uh, you look very different. <laughs> hey, has this guy woken up at any point? <sighs> Not, Not so, so far. far. Okay, um, has he said anything in his sleep? Not so far. <laughs> now that you mention it. Yesterday he suddenly so cried high, out, so high. Who knows what he was dreaming about? So it's is it in like the atmosphere or something? Like in the sky, sky? How high? High as a snowy mountain peak, maybe? A wicked mountain. Ah, uh, here His we go, peak official. Looming high, <laughs> home to a malevolent power. Yes. Let's talk to that guy over there next. All right. Yeah, I feel like we're getting nowhere very slowly, unfortunately. Wait, let's talk to what guy next? She said let's talk to that guy, as if like that guy was really close by. But based on my map, he's like all the fuck way near that, that waypoint. So that was a little weird. Yeah, they kind of botched that translation. Joy Yun Chilies! I miss Shang Ling. I hope we get to go to uh one mean met one mean restaurant. I really hope we get to that place like I'm pretty sure that place exists in the game. 
Like, the, the, the world building and everything in this game is immaculate, so it's kind of cool that the locations that these characters reference we actually get to go to and see. That's why I'm hoping I get to see, like, the Bobo Pharmacy to see if that's where Chi-Chi is. You know, and everything else in between. Wow, there's a lot of chilies in this region. Holy crap. Alright, yeah, so this is the area. She's like, ask that guy over there. You mean all the fuck way past where we were? Alright, let's just grab all of this stuff since we're here. Exquisite chest, I will take it. We still have a ways to go before we're level 39. Ooh, another book. Record of Joyun, Stone of Beasts. Oh, I wonder if that's with the stones, like the, um... They almost kind of look like goat statues that I've been seeing around. Oh, this guy's alive. Gao the Sixth. Hello. Have any of the victims woken up? Or go the sixth. Funny you should ask. Gal the sixth literally just woke up. <laughs> I was right the first time, Gal the sixth. All right. We're gonna go talk to him. All right. That's fine. But he's only just awoken and is still very weak. If you must question him, please be gentle. This guy's name's Bro. Greetings, you who have suffered and lived to tell the tale. <laughs> Your sovereign shall oh, question man. you now. I love how extra official is. I love this this rendition of the leeway theme. Yeah, I love food. it. Oh my god, this guy looks food. like um draft without the ears. Are you okay? Sounds it's like literally draft without the ears. <laughs> what are you hungry for? Any dish? I yo, I could whip up anything for you, dude. Please, he's probably gonna be like jade parcels. Please, I need home uh, cooking. Home, uh, home cooking. I got you, fam. Home cooking from Chingsa Village. Hmm. Well, that can only mean one thing. Farmer food. Farmer food. Oh, maybe I'll get a new recipe. I think all the current recipes that I have, um, with the exception of one because I don't have almonds yet. Um, I oh Chingsa stir fry. Yeah, that's a brand new dish right there. Okay, so I need to find. Oh, hold on a second. I need to find a cooking station. I've never made... I don't think I've... Have I made this dish before? I actually have no clue. Oh, really? Okay, I need fire. Glee! Do your thing, girl! Oh, no. Oh, that's not your thing. There you go. Alright, Chingse Stir Fry. I think I've already made this. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I don't think I have this, actually. Chingse Stir Fry? I mean, this is my first time in Liyue, but I don't... Does the guy have the recipe or something? Like, who has the recipe for this thing? I have no idea. Hey, buddy, how do I make this dish, my food. guy? Food, need food. I don't know how to make this dish. Hello? Hold on. Is it in the quest line? Okay, there is a master chef in Chingsei Village who is skilled at the art of making Chingsei stir fry. Her name is Miss Bao. Oh, Miss, Miss Bai? Perhaps you can ask her for the recipe. Oh, is that the lady that was standing next to the, uh, next to the, um,. There was a lady that was actually next to that area. Also, there's a moonlit bamboo forest book. I'll take that off your hands. Is this the lady right here? Yeah. Oh, wow. She's like right there, too. Howdy. This kind of looks like, uh, what's her name? Brooke, but she was also a cook. All right. And that rhymed. I didn't even mean for that to happen. Uh, don't see young kids often like you. Um, what do you sell? Tofu. Oh, nice. New recipes. Oh, and she has the almonds. Oh, I'm so freaking happy. Now I can make that other dish that I haven't been able to make in a while. Because I haven't had the materials. Wow, that's a lot of fucking money for the gap. The Dude, 50k a pop? That's actually insane. Holy shit. Okay, so we have two new recipes. And I can now make... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, right here. So I can now make the almond tofu. Um, if I make them all perfectly, it'll actually work out. So, give me one second here. I want to see if any characters are specialized in this dish. Unfortunately not. Feels bad, man. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to get the proficiency that I need. Because what I like to do is I like to make an incomplete version, which gives me a terrible dish. I like to make a standard version, which gives me a standard dish. And then I use the rest to make a perfect... It's just to collect all of the different, like arrays of food so unfortunately i won't get this one max proficiency just yet i'm gonna need to store up a, a couple more almonds uh which i might be able to get the rest in leeway harbor once we officially make it there at some given point yeah so we only got eight out of ten all right so let's add this so we have the noodles the noodle dish and the stir fry dish unfortunately the almonds are gonna have to wait so let's see what do we have chingsei stir fry which is this one F out of 15 so i think i can make all of those right now and the other dish was noodles with mountain delicacies 
This one is going to be very limiting to make as of right now. I don't know if I have the... I don't know if any of the... Oh, Chong Yoon's dish! Yo, let's go, dude. Okay, I'm going to try to get this one. All right, so that's the default dish. It's very rare that we're, a we're actually going to be able to make the, the character's dish in question right now. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, still nothing. We have seven things of meat left. Two more tries. Come on, Chung Yoon. Help a brother out. Oh, yes. There it is. That's his dish. We just made it. Good stuff. All right. And then I'm going to be a basic bitch and just use the last one for the normal dish. I still need to make a disgusting dish, too. All right. So I need to get more meat for that one. But obviously, we came here for the stir fry. So I wonder if this one's... um Maybe this could be Chi-Chi's. Because, again, Chi-Chi is from here. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? What's Chi-Chi's dish, man? So, I also have all of the current characters right now. So, if I, if any of them were to have, like, a signature dish, I'd be able to make it. All right. So, that's a shitty dish, standard dish, and proficient dish. And I'll just fast forward at this point just to max it out. All right. Coming up on the last couple here. This is the last one. And GG, boys. Proficiency, 15 out of 15. Let's go. Now, I can actually just make them right out the gate. Like, uh, you know, insta-cook them, essentially. Aw, oh, man, this guy's gonna be eating good today, guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna give him the suspicious Chingsei, uh, stir-fry. That's That'd be a little messed up. Food. Food! Uh. Oh, I could actually... Aw, oh, damn, that's messed up. Yeah, I'm gonna give him the best dish. Let's go. The best dish in the house, my guy. Here you go. Eat up. <sighs> Yo! That's brought me back from the brink, that has. <laughs> that actually looks really, really <sighs> good. Did you have a dream while you were sleeping the snow forest only the most exhausting dream of my whole life <laughs> that's putting it mildly i guess really why were you in the what happened were you outside of the snow were you on a mountain yes <clears throat> how did you know everyone's having the same dream way up in the mountains the highest mountain i've ever seen it was freezing up there the highest mountain he's ever seen what were you doing there i'm not sure it's like I was... Possessed. Possessed. <clears throat> I was consumed by the idea of climbing up the mountain and trying to reach the summit. I don't know, man. Is that where the cryo god is in Shneznaya? Does Shneznaya have a giant mountain peak? Because I, I keep thinking Dragon Spine, but I really... I know that's the next region that's going to unlock, and it could tie into the next event, if that is in case the location. But I think Shneznaya is also a snow-based, and that's also where the Cryo God is, and that's where the Fatui are. And in the main game, Fatui are acting pretty sus, so... I, I, I'm, I, it's between those two in my head right now. I can't really think beyond that. Was there <clears throat> something special at the summit, or...? Who knows? Hmm. Honestly, it's like I became a completely different person in my dream. Huh. So it wasn't you who wanted to climb the mountain? I have no mountain? idea. It's hard to describe. It's like I was being controlled, as if somebody else put the idea of climbing the mountain into oh. my head. I know how crazy that sounds, but... Interesting. <sighs> so they're being, like, indoctrinated. An intruder trespassed <laughs> in the dark recesses of your soul? That's literally some god status type shit. Like, I wonder if the cryo god is acting up. An idea not autonomously generated by the individual. Yeah. But that appeared within the subconscious. <laughs> I should be used to this now, yes. but <laughs> the things you two the say aren't even do remotely similar. Point towards mind control. I should be used to this now, but <laughs> all the other victims we've met yeah. have talked about being cold and needing to rest. Were they all climbing the mountain too? This all comes from the same source. Hyman doesn't even want to think. Yeah, about we gotta it. update Mona. We need to update Mona on all of this. Ah, uh, we have to report to Mona Stai's ASAP. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I definitely need to come back here. There's a bunch of puzzles in the area. There's a bunch of untapped potential for exploration. There's a ton of Seelies. Oh, I'm going to get that treasure chest in case I forget it before I head out. But yeah, I definitely need to come back to Chingsei Village. I think I'm actually going to stream a little later from when I'm streaming this now. I'm going to stream a little later just so I can kind of have fun and, you know, with exploration and stuff like that. I really love this region. It's just so vast. Like, I feel like I, I I feel like I went through Breath of the Wild relatively well with exploration, like one area to the next area to the next area. But this game, it's just so littered with either NPCs or treasure chests or mobs 
or, you know, collectibles that like it really blows Breath of the Wild's world map out of the water in terms of how much different shit you can do. There's been barely anything that I can kind of go out of my way and do right now because like I'm moving at like a micro pace, you know, and I didn't really do that in Breath of the Wild. I didn't really explore anything outside of streaming. So, yeah, and I, I feel like there's just going to be things that I inherently miss out on because the, the game is so vast. It's insane. All right, so let's head back to Mona really quick. Fill her in on, on what's going on. I wonder if we're going to be any closer to finding out whose constellation this is. I don't think it's any characters that we have right now. It, so that might be like a plot twist. Could be like uh, an adversaries. Whoa, where's Mona? Nani? Oh, she's actually a little further back. Oh, okay. Got a little turned around right there for a bit. Mona! Let me grab these real quick. Mona's thighs, I've come to report to you. Mona! <laughs> All in a day's work. We found some stuff out. An ice-capped mountain looms over the world Fischl, from far awesome. above the clouds. That is the place from which this <laughs> burgeoning darkness proceeds. I wonder if they're going to be, as time goes on, because again, I don't know, but I wonder if this is what they're considering to be Fischl slash Mona. No, because Mona has her own character quest. You have to get the the the, key, the story keys to unlock it. So Mona's featured in this, but Mona still has her own time to shine. So I wonder if we're going to get a, a, a solo Fischl storyline. Because I... Yeah, because... Actually, might not, because I think all of the story quests are with five-star characters only, now that I think about it. Ice-capped mountain. Is that all? Maybe. Yes. It's a really, <clears throat> really high mountain that no one's ever seen before, and it's super cold up there. The sleepers are forced to try and climb to the summit, hmm. but they don't know why. Control. Climb the mountain to the summit. What Indeed. sort of person would wish to reach the summit of that mountain? And how is their desire mm. strong enough to exert an influence on others? It has to be a god. Perchance some poor soul lies there. Yeah, buried, buried the by snow, the snow. Hounded to death on the mountain. Frozen to death, perhaps. Or... Some intrepid explorer was Ooh. exceptionally keen to conquer that particular mountain. Perhaps. Oh, I'll do another <laughs> reading. <laughs> okay. Mona's having a little too much fun here. Yo, that angle, though. Mwah, chef's kiss. So I wonder if we're now going to figure out, like, the giant meteor chunks, and that's where we're going to start getting some of these end, uh, end event resources now. All right, let's uh -huh. see. I see something Leonard. there. It's a little vague. Leonard. I Leonard think Church. I can get his name. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Leonard. Leonard. Wow, that was fast. Interesting. Well, in case you'd forgotten, Thighs. I am a genius. Leonard. Hmm. I don't know any NPC that by that name yet. All right, was that supposed to wait and see? Oh boy. Hi. Oh. Oh! It's him again. Sounds interesting. What the fuck? What if I join you? What ho? Who is this? Meet again, favorite of Inazuma. Inazuma. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did they fight him? Oh! <laughs> Wait, who is this? Why did they run off? Is he Leonard? The first time the Millilith were present, I had to forego the chance to strike down Mondstadt's savior. This time what was the a perfect fuck? moment. I was mere seven Wait, is he a harbinger? Cause he Oh my god! He's the sixth Sar Scaramon? But who was that mage? She could not have known who I am. Perhaps her powers are real to her things unseen. Soldiers! Sir! Sir. Holy shit, Find this is them. insane. And when you do. Wow, there it is, the chunks. Another one? My lord! Wow, this is insane. So it is Fatui that are behind it's it. It's happening again. This is the largest one we've seen so far. They just keep coming. But so be it. Wow, this is insane. Change your plan. Your prior objective remains in force. Continue to This guy is actually a freaking Lord, harbinger. Leave to us. We will make short work of them. So he knows child and uh Are you deaf or just stupid? Lady Signora. When did I give you the right to issue your own orders? Fuck, man. 
Man, I don't even know any of these characters in the main story, so now move out. I might be seeing them for the first time right now. As assigned. And there you go. There's that giant meteor. I wonder if they know what that's all about too. Any junior fortune teller could have told Shit. you this, but Fatui that Harbinger. Man was a Fatui yep. Harbinger. That was too close. How did you manage to get caught up with a guy like him? Holy shit. So that guy, I think his name was Scott Amooch or something like that. So he is one of the uh, one of the Harbingers along with Child. It was interesting, though, because when we first saw him, he was talking about how, like, oh, there's a Harbinger in the area. And I thought he was talking about Child, but he was actually talking about himself. And the only reason he didn't attack us was because the military people were around. But he said that he was trying to take out Mondstadt's savior, which I assume is the Traveler. Because Mona wasn't with us last time. Uh, it was Fischl. A Fatui Harbinger. <laughs> Why, their wickedness I can't knows believe no that, bounds. man. He came off so playful and innocent and, like, like, wanting to help us and stuff like that. He just... He didn't look like the enemy at all. He didn't look like Fatui either. He was from Inazuma. Whatever he was planning to do, he was heading straight for you. Yeah. And he is an extremely powerful individual. Pretty much. I sensed it the moment I looked at him. He's far more powerful than you'd imagine. Wow. I wonder if they're going to make it so... Because I think Child, like, for the current update, like, Child... You ha like, he's an enemy in the game. Like, he's obviously one of the Fatui. So I wonder if you're going to end up having to fight all of the other... Uh, f um, uh, well, all of the Harbinger, sorry. All of the Harbinger members throughout the game. Because there's, what, 11 of them or 13 of them or something? Child is the, old, like, one of the youngest members. So, uh, and he seems pretty young too. But obviously he was talking to all of his guards and stuff like that. And clearly can command a room, can command people to pay attention and listen to him. And uh, not fall out of line. He has that playful side of him, but he also has that sinister side, which is really terrifying because that's what caught me off guard with him. As much as it pains me to admit it. Yeah, and they don't know just as much about the meteors as we do, so it's interesting that he was basically sent to take us out. Surely his power cannot match that of the astrological genius of the century. Damn, this kind of shifted things a little bit. I never said that. His strength may exceed mine, by a hair's <clears throat> breadth, but in astrology alone, he doesn't come close. Yeah. And with these thighs, forget about it. <laughs> <gasps> this reminds Paimon of something. We ran into some Fatui at Wangshu Inn, too. I think that was him. What interest could the Fatui have in the meteorites? That was him, right? Yeah, like at Wangshu Inn, where like those two guys that we were trying to get... Like, the, the workers from the Dawn Winery, I think, like, one of them was, like, knocked out or whatever. And, uh, yeah, that's the same one, I think. I don't think Paimon remembers, though. They must be plotting something. With the Cryo God, if they are indeed working together. <sighs> but he's from Inazuma. Maybe. Oh! The Fatui are the ones who caused the meteor shower in the first place. No. Was that it? His reaction didn't seem like he he was like they were like, oh, sir, it's another one. And he was like, yo, we're going to stay our course of action. Keep learning more about the meteorite. So I don't think that's it. Hi, Mon. That was my line. <laughs> Get your own. I mean, it could be a different member of the Fatui. Sorry. Paimon's mouth just works so much faster than everyone else's. I'm not going to touch that one. I'm going to leave that to y'all. That's a very suggestive line. I'm going to go ahead and say it's because she eats a lot. <laughs> does the meteor, does the power to summon a meteorite strike really exist? It's like on some Madara shit, like Naruto. Yeah. Where'd they get the power to pull stars out of the sky? Hmm. Oh, do you know a thing or two? As Valdo Hafnavines? What is thy opinion? <laughs> As Valdo Hafnavines. I like that. He's got a dope ass name. I think that anything is possible, main, main Fräulein. Yeah, pretty much. If y'all can come here from another world, it's and dragons and can talk and shit like that. Like, I, I wonder why people think like that's not possible. It might just be on like the level of godhood. So long as they can afford to pay the price, <laughs> they will never stop sowing their seeds of destruction oh, okay, across official. the land. Fatui, your, your sin sins. shall not go unremembered. Damn, Fischl's about to pop off. I also believe that miracles can happen. Yeah, just gotta believe. 
Astral Emissary, <clears throat> you have performed admirably as a member of my retinue. <laughs> I will not I forget this deed. I will dispatch my forces to protect you. Aww. And they will ensure that the encroaching darkness Wait. shall bring you no harm. Oh, is she leaving us with her? And she's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> she means... Oh. Me. What? No need. Paimon thinks that our Come current on. lineup works just fine. No need to fix it if it ain't broke. Exactly. You underestimate me, Fischl. <laughs> I'm far stronger than you seem to think. Well, you're water-based, and uh, uh, his name was Balladeer. So it's kind of like Tataglia is his title, and then Child is his name. Or is it the reverse? So it's like Scaramouche, and then Balladeer is his name, I guess. Main Fräulein or maybe it's just a personal no title. I don't know anyone's more name. More than yourself, my lady. Hmm. She is simply concerned for your well-being. Also, yeah, so she's water-based. Scottamooch is lightning-based. So I've played enough Pokemon to know that that matchup isn't going to go very well for you, Mona. I'm sorry. Your thighs and your ass can't save you here. <laughs> There's really no need. In any case, you're in a much more perilous position than I am. Mm. If anything, True. you need my protection. Mona, you're a good person. Fischl, you're a good person. Yeah, I think Fischl's, a good, Fischl's just trying to look out for her. Even, But she's kind of like underestimating just how strong Mona is. So um, I think I'll just say Mona because she's, she's on a higher status as of right now. Huh? <laughs> what are you saying that for? I mean, because you are. For now, we must I'm trying to simp right now. Threat. Just take the compliment. <laughs> My astrolabe tells me that a new meteorite has landed. Yep. And it's the biggest the one The one that yet. just came down. And I think that's where these chunks are going to start coming from. 